The music world has seen its fair share of heart-wrenching losses, with some of the most talented artists leaving us far too soon. These musicians not only shaped the sound of their eras, but also left behind legacies that fans still hold close. Their sudden, tragic deaths remind us how fragile life can be, especially in the spotlight. What could these artists have achieved if they had more time? This special is about the most tragic musician deaths of all time. I'm, I'm, I'm Chris, and I play guitar and sing. I'm Tom, I play bass. Ooh, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm Jack, I play the drums. Uh, uh, I'm River, and I play the guitar as well. It's February 13th, 2016, and the indie rock band Viola Beach is riding high after their first international gig in Sweden. Chris Leonard, River Reeves, Thomas Lowe, and Jack Dakin along with their manager, Craig Terry, are buzzing with excitement about their future. They're young, talented, and on the cusp of stardom, but in a cruel twist of fate, their journey is cut tragically short. As they drive back to their hotel, their car plunges off a bridge into a canal. All five lives are snuffed out in an instant. The music world is left reeling, mourning the loss of these promising artists. Their debut album, released posthumously, becomes a bittersweet testament to their unfulfilled potential. Viola Beach's story serves as a haunting reminder of how fragile dreams can be. Prodigy wasn't just a rapper, he was a voice for the streets. Born Albert Johnson, he rose to fame as one half of Mob Deep, a duo that defined the sound of East Coast hip-hop in the 90s. Albums like The Infamous and Hell on Earth were anthems for a generation, laying bare the harsh realities of life in New York's toughest neighborhoods. But behind the fierce persona was a man quietly fighting a painful, lifelong battle with sickle cell anemia. Despite his health struggles, he never let it stop him from creating powerful music. Tragically, it wasn't the disease that took him. While hospitalized during a crisis, Prodigy choked on an egg, a bizarre and heartbreaking end for such a resilient spirit. He was just 42. His death left a gaping hole in hip-hop, a genre he helped shape with his brutal honesty and relentless flow. Prodigy may be gone, but his words and impact will resonate forever. Rest in peace, Albert Johnson. Your voice will never be silenced. Former Beatle John Lennon, who was 40, was shot and killed last night outside his luxury apartment in New York. It was a chilling December evening in 1980. New York City was bustling with life as John Lennon returned home to the Dakota. After a five-year hiatus, he'd just released Double Fantasy and was ready to embrace a fresh chapter in his life. But as he and Yoko Ono stepped out of their car, Mark David Chapman, a fan twisted by obsession, approached. He fired five hollow-point bullets from a .38 revolver, four of them finding their mark. The world gasped as Lennon fell, bleeding on the cold pavement outside his home. The news spread like wildfire. John Lennon, the man who'd penned anthems for peace and love, was gone at just 40. It was a cruel irony that the voice behind Imagine was silenced by such violence. His death left a gaping hole in the music world and in the hearts of millions who believed in his vision of harmony. Even now, decades later, his songs echo through time, carrying messages of love, unity, and hope. The world may have lost John Lennon, but his spirit lives on. Rest easy, John. You'll never be forgotten.
Peter Tosh, the outspoken voice of reggae, met a brutal and tragic end on September 11, 1987. Picture Kingston, Jamaica, on a quiet evening. Tosh was at home with friends, watching TV, when an all-too-familiar face, Dennis Lepo Laban, stormed in with two accomplices. Tosh had helped Laban before, after his release from prison, but that night, Laban's gratitude was replaced by a cold demand for money. When Tosh said he had none, chaos erupted. Forced to the ground, struck unconscious, Tosh's home became a scene of terror. Friends and guests, including radio DJ Jeff Free Eye Dixon, arrived only to be greeted with violence. The gunman, growing desperate, unleashed a hail of bullets. Tosh Dixon and Wilton Doc Brown were killed on the spot. Marlene Brown, Tosh's partner, was shot but survived by feigning death. The reggae community was devastated. Tosh wasn't just a musician. He was a revolutionary spirit. His fearless stance against oppression and injustice still echoes in his music. Rest easy, Peter. Your voice remains a beacon of strength and defiance. What if a song could topple a government? In September 1973, Chile's military junta feared exactly that. Victor Jara, the beloved folk singer and political activist, found himself in the crosshairs of a brutal regime. As tanks rolled through Santiago's streets, Jara was rounded up with thousands of others and herded into the Chile stadium. For days, he endured unspeakable torture. Yet, even with his hands broken, Yara's spirit remained unbroken. He defiantly sang Vencheremos, We Will Win, to fellow prisoners, his voice a beacon of hope amidst despair. On September 16th, the junta silenced him forever with 44 bullet wounds, dumping his body on a street. But they couldn't silence his message. Today, Yara's songs of justice and equality continue to inspire millions, proving that while a man can be killed, his ideas live on forever. The year was 1995, and Selena was on the brink of superstardom. She was more than just a singer. She was a symbol of hope for the Mexican-American community breaking barriers in a male-dominated industry with her unique blend of Tejano music. But on March 31st, a tragic twist unfolded at a Days Inn motel in Corpus Christi, Texas. She had gone there to confront Yolanda Saldivar, a woman she had once trusted, over accusations of embezzling funds from her fan club. What should have been a tense but manageable situation turned into a nightmare. A single gunshot rang out, hitting Selena in the back, Bleeding profusely, she staggered to the motel lobby, where she collapsed. Even in her final moments, she named her killer, trying to make sure justice would be served. In a moment, we'll hear the chilling 911 call that followed this heartbreaking event, capturing the raw emotion of that fateful day. When, what is your location? Uh, Dave in Motel, it's 901 Navigation Boulevard. What's on you? We have a woman ran in the lobby, said she's been shot, she's laid on the floor, and there's blood. Okay, what room number? Okay, where are you? What room? How old is she? She looks about 20. The music world is shattered as news spreads of the young star's tragic death. Selena's legacy lives on through her music and the dreams she inspired in countless fans. Rest easy, Selena. We still miss you dearly.
Imagine Seattle, 1993. Mia Zapata, the 27-year-old lead singer of punk band The Gits, is walking home after a night at the Comet Tavern. Her raw, powerful voice and magnetic stage presence have made her a rising star in the grunge scene. But on this fateful July night, her promising career is brutally cut short. Mia's body is found beaten, raped, and strangled with the drawstring of her own sweatshirt. For a decade, her murder remains unsolved, haunting the music community. Then, in 2003, a breakthrough. DNA evidence leads police to Jesus Mesquia, a Florida fisherman with a history of violence against women. In 2004, Mesquia is convicted and sentenced to 36 years in prison, later extended to 37 years. The verdict brings bittersweet closure to Mia's loved ones, while her music continues to inspire, and her tragic story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers women face. Imagine the heartbeat of rock and roll stopping mid-song. That's what it felt like on July 3, 1969, when Brian Jones, the brilliant yet troubled founder of the Rolling Stones, was discovered dead in his swimming pool. He was only 27, but his impact on music was already legendary. Known for his experimental flair, Brian transformed the Stones' sound with his mastery of unusual instruments like the sitar and marimba, bringing a unique edge to their music. Yet despite his genius, he struggled with the pressures of fame and substance abuse. Just weeks before his death, Brian was forced out of the band he helped create, a tragic turn for a man whose life seemed entwined with the very essence of 60s rock. Officially, it was ruled death by misadventure, but speculation never truly ceased. With his passing, a light went out in the music world, leaving us to forever ponder the songs he never got to play. Rest easy, Brian the music still remembers. As we reflect on these tragic losses, we're reminded of the fragility of life and the enduring power of music. These artists, taken from us too soon, left an indelible mark on the world. Their legacies continue to inspire and move us, even in their absence. We honor their memory by cherishing the art they created and the lives they touched. If you'd like to share your thoughts on these musicians or their impact, please leave a respectful comment below. To stay updated on more tributes to legendary artists and their lasting legacies, consider subscribing to our channel. Together, we can keep their music and memories alive for generations to come.